This is the episode where Rick and Morty break up. Ugh, jerk! We spent a lot of time talking about breakups. You're having a fight with your significant other and it's always the same fight. It's the first fight, it's the last fight. You know what, eat shit. You're just trying to make me feel worthless. I never said you're worthless. In fact, I've given you a very clear metric of your worth. Two crows. <sighs> A lot of times when you break up, you end up falling in love with whatever is the opposite of whatever you just did. And it's not even about vilifying your previous partner. It's about like, oh, well, I know who I am now. I'm going to train crows that aren't going to question me. We're not the problem. He is. And if you can have a fresh start, then maybe I can too. Morty, who had the luxury of being an underdog in his relationship with Rick, he ends up hooked up with another underdog, and it turns out don't work great together. Morty! Morty! You're fired. Sorry, guys, if I wanted another bleeding heart, I'd inject reanimator serum into an actual bleeding heart. Ah! Rick's going through it, too. Trying to make the Crow relationship work actually is what allows Rick to do the very simple thing he wasn't doing in his relationship with Morty, which is trying to see things from their perspective. What we had was abusive, don't you see? I'm a bad partner because I never made you a true partner. The Crows made me see that. Through the Crows, he is finally able to learn the lesson of it's more fun if it's a partnership. It's more fun if you have empathy and you care about people. There you go, good as new. So we're like back, back, right? Rick and Morty, together again, full, full reset? <sighs> No, no, Morty, I think we're done. Morty expects them to get back together again because that's what happens at the end of a Rick and Morty episode. And Rick says, actually, no, this relationship was toxic and it's better for both of us if we break up. <laughs>